Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to the Ultimate Cross Gacha video. But before that, if you guys haven't followed me on my Facebook page, do uh, join up by hitting the like on the page so that in case I do not come up with a video regarding of sorts like the last gacha that was around which featured Freya I did not do that gacha video because well apparently life has been harsh I had work to do and well I was pretty exhausted so all those information would be on my Facebook page so guys do follow me there in case you miss out anything or you wish to know what is going on with me in life uh, most of my updates will be there on the Facebook page. Anyway guys, let's get down to this brand new gacha or rather the brand new event that features Basara in a very very familiar costume that might look like have been in my cross frontier. <laughs> so hey guys, yes, uh, for those who are big fans of Macross Frontier, you will have recognized the uniform uh, that Basara is wearing on his current um, gacha banner that belongs to the ones where Elto, Mikel um, and the rest of the gang from Macross Frontier are schools from. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And Alright, so... The, before we touch into this banner, uh, as of today that I'm recording, the new information regarding the next upcoming gacha has been revealed in the notices here. Whoops, internet connection is not doing so well. And the banner is here, showing off Cheryl in Basara's costume. Now this crossover um, isn't exactly new, it has been around for a very long time, but we are finally getting this costume in the Utama Cross game. So fat Cheryl fans, uh, definitely you will want to save up your singing stones for the upcoming banner and of course immediately when the event actually started this was actually shown therefore showing off the brand new costume for Cheryl um, that belongs to this current event. So yeah. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the episode plate that belongs to Basara and we're going to see whether it's actually worth your singing stones as usual to see whether you want to invest your money um, into, you know, pulling as many pools as you want from this current banner or maybe save up for a future gacha that is to come with your favourite diva. Alright, so let's take a look at the fully evolved 5 star plate. 3,310 total score focusing on voice so very important for those high score players out there who want to achieve the best high score for this current event. You will need episode plates that are of the star element and of course focusing on soul. Alright so center skill of an A rank. Alright so voice up basically it shows you here uh, unit's voice is increased by 60% up. So yeah, so very good stats plus uh, center skill for the current event, uh, especially if you're aiming for those high score. Um, active skill however is just a recovery of 30% on your HP. Not the best active skill out there but um, I guess with a pretty mediocre active skill and life uh, center skill, sorry. Um, yeah, this episode play is definitely going towards a life skill support, which therefore you can see it is of the S rank. Score and damage ability. Alright, so with that said, you can probably guess what this episode play does already. So at the 48 second mark, um, for 16 seconds while it's being activated, for every second, your life is decreased by 20 and of course you gain a score boost of 100% up. Well, we have definitely seen a whole bunch of episode plates with this uh, life skill already, so it's pretty normal at this point in our time. Uh, if you have not gotten a star element plate or yellow element, uh, yellow element plate before with this particular kind of uh, life skill, um, definitely you might want to try and obtain it if you're pretty lucky and only got it through a single template pool or even single pools. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of the kind of episode plates that you will want to have in your arsenal for high score purposes. And yeah, pay close attention to the four divas that are able to equip this episode plate onto themselves. Uh, any special notes? Sadly to say, none. So, in my opinion, this episode plate is just for 
uh, support you for high score achievements. Other than that, I would say this episode played is pretty normal uh, as of this current era and that the game has gone into. Um, and of course, the other usefulness is definitely to obtain Basara's brand new costume. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So, in my opinion, I wouldn't try too hard to try and obtain this particular episode play if you're a long time player of Utama Cross, but if you're a Basara fan, definitely try and aim for this plate. It has pretty awesome artwork um, regarding its pre-evolved state and its fully evolved state, although it's kind of sad to see Guvava set. So yeah, so let's take a look at the brand new exclusive plates um, for this current gacha as well. So we have Basara and Milane plus Ray. Yeah, so that's pretty fantastic. Uh, I don't understand why Guvanga looks as sad in both episode plays. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna do a single template pool here. I'm not gonna invest too much into it. Although it's pretty cool to actually have Basara wear the male version of the school uniform from Frontier. Fan pretty fantastic stuff. Um, hopefully we get to see, um, you know, future crossover costumes. Uh, maybe Milane to wear the uh, female version of the school uniform and then of course maybe with Ranka wearing uh, you know um, other costumes from other Macross generations as well so yeah here we go guys we're gonna do one single template pool hopefully we got pretty awesome luck uh, considering the last video I did was pretty um, awful and of course if you guys missed out on my pools for Freya's Gacha banner. Um, those vi those video clips are actually on my Facebook page itself there. So guys, do hit me up there. Hit the like button. Follow me there as well, and stay up to date. Right here we go. So we do get a golden orb, although we did only get a single Valkyrie. So that's pretty lucky in a sense. <laughs> so we don't know whether the, sec the the only red box that we actually obtain might evolve. So we're gonna skip all the common stuff. Yeah. Alright, here we go, the rainbow box. Uh, it's not Basara's new plate, but it is definitely an episode plate that I've gotten before and I've got it evolved already, so it's fantastic to have it um, added to the secret bot collection. Uh, Mirage giving me the thumbs up <laughs> because she knows that I'm pretty happy with what I just got. Uh, I got two thumbs up! Alright, that's pretty fantastic! Okay, so that's... Oh, we got three thumbs up! Wow, what is going on here? Okay. It seems like Uta Macross is... Okay, that's not a good sign. <laughs> uh, Uta Macross is giving me three thumbs up and a headbang on the microphone. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. The only red box. So no evolution there. We get um, Basara and Milane plate. Um, which is fantastic. I have gotten quite a few of these episode plates already. So I've gotten a second page for Secret Board. Um, fantastic, fantastic stuff, and apparently this, um, yeah, Reina plate has gotten two secret bots unlocked as well. So pretty fantastic. Um, it is definitely not the um, first five star, fully evolved five star plate that have gotten um, secret bots unlocked. In fact, there was the um, there was the event episode plate um, for the current ticketing event um, some time ago. I actually managed to get into the top 100 placing, therefore it, that was my first episode played with uh, plus um, 4 luck. So yeah, um, so I guess generally I am gradually getting there with um, 5 star episode plates that are fully evolved with uh, luck value that is exceeding plus 4 I suppose, but it's gonna take forever for me to maybe reach a plus 20 or plus 25 which is the maximum that a 5 star fully evolved plate can go. Uh, guys, what is your best um, luck episode plate out there? For me, it's definitely still those that is obtainable through the second event of the month. Uh, which is the Kuji or the mission type events. I have yet to obtain a gacha poop. Um, 4 star fully evolved plate that has gone past plus 13 luck. So guys, do let me know in the comments down below if you have any as, uh, awesome episode plates that have gotten so much luck that it's helping out uh, in your events greatly. 
uh, you know, and yeah, Mirage and Hayate gives you a two thumbs up <laughs> if you have gotten anything awesome um, along the lines of all your gacha pools that you've been pulling since the beginning of the game until now or wherever you have started playing. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, as usual, all the information I shared with you uh, has been useful. Uh, do let me know by hitting the subscribe button and the like button for this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next upcoming gacha video that will be in the next two days, I guess. <laughs> Alright then, bye!